Yes, hello and welcome back to my Hammer Editor tutorial. It's John, John Z. Hodgson here, and this is tutorial number 10. Uh, and we're going to be talking about 3D skyboxes, which are fantastic. Uh, if you've been following this tutorial from the beginning, um, you'll have already put in this normal skybox right here which is right now just showing the 2D skybox in the background. It's just a picture that we pulled from the, um, the Valve uh, the files and um, doesn't do much beyond that. But a 3D skybox, you can actually put geometry and details and props outside. And when players look at this skybox texture, they're going to see um, the world outside that you you have uh, you've detailed up. So it can make your uh, map seem a lot bigger and even though players can't go out there and, uh, and play in that area it, it adds a bunch of detail and uh, you know, makes, it, makes it much more of a believable kind of place in my opinion. Not every map will use a 3D skybox but most of them do have 3D skyboxes and they're really uh, useful and a lot of people think that they're difficult to make. They are not. This will be actually quite short. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, you know, I'm going to, I think I'm going to lower these a bit. Okay, so I'm going to uh, lower this a little bit just to give a little bit of, um, a little bit of, uh, Flavor. I don't. I want people to see outside into the skybox, and it's really hard to see outside if you're standing down here in the two 3D skyboxes over this what is essentially a massive wall. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm lowering down those uh, things. You can do what you want here. It's not necessary. Um, but now everything's uh, where I want it. I kind of want players to see outside there. And there you go. All right. So once your map is set up the way that you like it, um, and of course you can change this later, um, let's make a sky camera entity. We're going to need something called a sky camera. So go to your entities tool and then type in sky, and there it is, there's only one, sky camera. And we're going to have to put it at the origin of our map, the 000. zero, zero uh, part uh, area of our map. Now if you're like me and you centered the whole map right dead in the middle, uh, you can actually do this. You can just click, oops, I'm not in uh, entities anymore, okay. So I'm going to click here in my 2D views, find the exact, set. there it is. So it's already centered exactly. And then I'm going to hit enter and it should be there. There it is. Uh, it's actually underneath this uh, this brush, but that's okay. We're not going to, um, it's not going to actually be here uh, on our uh, playable area. It's going to be just in the skybox area, and you'll see what I mean about that in a bit. I'm sorry, in a minute. Um, but for right now, this is just using, we're just going to use this as a reference. So that's the exact center of the world. So now I'm going to, in order to build our 3D skybox, we're, we're actually going to be building around an outline of our map. So we're going to need an outline of the map. My outline is kind of these walls here. So I'm going to pick these walls and what we're going to be doing is the things that are past those walls, the things that are visible through these um, these 2D skybox brushes, that's the area that we're going to modify, if that makes any sense. If it doesn't, just roll with me and it'll make sense real soon. Okay. Um, you can grab the floors too if you like. I'm not going to grab them. Uh, and then grab your outline here and your sky camera. So I'm holding down in case you, I'm holding down the control button while I'm selecting all of these things. Um, okay, so I've got everything, or I've got 
what I need. I've got an outline of my map, and I've got the sky camera. Um, I'm going to right click, copy, and then somewhere outside my map, I'm going to paste the whole thing. So there it is. It's a it's a copy of the outline of my map, and then right in the middle is the sky camera entity. Now we need to shrink this down. 3D sky boxes are um, built on a 1 16th scale, and then they are blown up uh, to the normal scale once uh, they're, they're kind of transferred. Uh, what this sky camera sees is transferred to the center of our map. For example, if we were to compile this right now, and you know, uh, notwithstanding the fact that it wouldn't compile or correctly because this guy is in space, then what would happen is we would have this, and it would be 16 times larger. So we'd have this really, really massive wall going out into the distance. We need to um, decrease this back down to. Um, we need to shrink this to a 1 16th scale. So grab everything right click it, hit transform, and then hit scale. And then for the values here, if you don't have a calculator right in front of you, 1 16th of, the, um, of what it is right now is 0 .0625. So enter that in for all of your values, and then hit OK. And now we have a tiny, tiny uh, outline of our walls. Awesome. OK. Now you can uh, let, let go of the um, sky camera for a bit. And OK. So what I'm about to explain is just a tip on how to do this a little bit easier. We're going to. Uh, apply, we're going to make this its own viz group. We've been using viz groups a little bit um, earlier when I told you to turn off the, uh, if you've been following these tutorials, when I told you to turn off the triggers, or uh, you can you can uh, turn off uh, uh, sections of your map. For example, if I wanted to go back in here and turn off these hint and skip textures, we could do that by clicking these boxes. And then that is a way that we can get the map to not compile with those particular um, with the viz groups, is what they're called. Um, or it can be just a way for you to work a little bit easier, like when I was turning off this trigger and I needed to modify the values on that um, on this control point, and so on and so forth. I mean, if you weren't here for that, not a big deal. But what I'm going to do here is we're going to eventually turn off this outline. But we might want to keep it there for the future reference in case we want to make our um, 3D skybox look different or in case our map changes a little bit. So I'm going to make this into its own visual group. And then when it comes time to compile the map, I'm going to turn this off. Because what this is essentially is this huge um, wall. And we've already got those walls. So we don't need to superimpose these little walls onto those big walls over there. So I'm going to right click, go to properties, click, and then uh, if it's just geometry, which it should be, then you'll get this. So hit edit groups, then hit new group, and then name it what you want. I'm going to name it uh, skybox ref. You can change the color or whatever. And hit close. It should be here and then check the box right there. So that means this belongs to the visual group skybox reference. Now hit apply. Get out of there and it should work now if I uh, take my mouse off of it and uh, I can go into viz groups and then user and then I can check and uncheck the skybox reference turn that uh, this reference area on and off. So this will make it a little bit easier for us to manage uh, when we need to be editing the skybox and